Hi everyone and welcome back to The Makeup Loft. My name is Ken, also known as Mr. Ken Dennis. So, in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to create this look, and this is my signature makeup look. All right, so for the signature look, as you guys saw from the preview, it's going to be quite smoky, like dewy, highlighty. First of all, I like to start off by priming my face. So I've got this one. This one is the Face Studio Prime Pore Minimizing Primer. Now with a pore minimizing primer, I like to really massage it into different directions of my skin. Sometimes if you just put it on like that, um, it only fills in the pore that way. And then when the light hits you this way, you can still kind of see your pores. So I like to massage it in different directions. And if you guys have like fine lines as well, this is perfect. Perfect. So, you know, just really massage it in there. Okay, now we're going to move on to the eyes. Now, first I need to prime, so I'm just going to use some concealer. This one is the Instant Age Rewind Eraser Concealer. And I'm just grabbing a damp beauty sponge and I'm just going to bounce that, just to blend that. And then for today's look, we are going to be using this palette. This one is the Matte Bar Palette 300. Now, as you guys can see, it's got all these nice warm tone shades and they've also got that purple. Now, for me, my signature look is definitely more, um, more warm tone, definitely more on the brown. So that's what we're going to be using in this palette today. So just grabbing this shade here, I'm just going to use that to set the concealer. I don't know about you guys, but I honestly find it really hard to blend my eyeshadows if I'm working with a wet base, so I always like to set that first. Um, so it can be with a face powder or just like a this sort of like shade of eyeshadow, um, and that works perfectly fine. All right, now it's time to grab a transition shade. So I'm just going to grab this shade here, and I'm just going to pop it into the socket line or the crease however you like to say it. Next I'm going to deepen out the crease and I'm going to grab a smaller blending brush and I'm going to be grabbing um, the darker colour in there. I describe this as a chocolate matte shade. And then I'm going to pop it into the crease a little bit lower and a little bit closer to my natural crease um, just to really define it. And I'm just going to start from the outer V and then bringing it into the inner corner. Next, taking a larger fluffy eyeshadow brush, I'm going to be taking this sort of like brick red shade, tap off the excess, and I'm just going to use that to blend these two shades together. So I'm going to go back into the dark brown and I'm also going to bring it down onto the mobile lid, just on the outer half, just to give it that nice smoky look. Then again, repeat the step, blend, until it's all nice and smoky and there's no harsh lines. Next I'm going to grab this shade here and this one is called Empire. Um, this one is, I would like to describe it as a sort of peachy, dusty rose shade. It's kind of like a mixture of those two shades. See an all matte look can also look very nice and chic. You don't have to always have shimmer on the eyelids, though I do like a little bit of shimmer, but you know, I'm just saying you can actually make an all matte eye look. But that's pretty much it for this eye. I'm just going to do it on the other eye and I'll be right back. Okay, so the other eye is done and it's just come to my attention that I have not done my wing eyeliner yet. So I'm going to do that. So I'm just going to be grabbing my gel liner. This one is the um, Elastin Drama Gel Liner. I just follow the natural curvature of my lower lash line. That way I know it's going to give me the perfect angle. But if you guys have trouble kind of like making them symmetrical. Now, a lot of people's eyes aren't symmetrical like myself. I don't have symmetrical features. Um, I try and make them as even as possible. But sometimes, you know, this eye tends to be a little bit lower. Um, I can still fix the angle by making it sharper by using a makeup wipe. I'll show you guys later if I make a mistake. I probably will because I always do it with this eye. Okay, so the wings are on and I don't know if you guys can tell, but this wing's not exactly the straightest at the tip and this one's a little bit chunky. So I'm just going to try and even them out. So I'm just going to grab a makeup wipe and I'm just going to wrap it around my finger just like that. And then I'm just going to pull up like that at the edge. And as you guys can see, that's already cleaned that up. I'm just gonna go a little bit more just to clean it up even more. And just the same on the other side. All right, so we're gonna give the eyes a bit of a break and now we're going to go on to the rest of the face. So we're gonna start off first with this. Now, obviously I'm a guy, so I have this to contend with. And I personally don't like seeing my five o'clock shadow peeking through my foundation. So I'm going to do some color correction. So I have got the Master Camo in 50 Apricot. So I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of this out. So this is a new one. I never know how many times I should twist before I should stop. Oh, 
Okay, there she is, there she is. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to dab a little bit, concentrating on the areas where I've got the darkest bit of hair. Now this shade appears a little bit more orange on myself and this is perfect, this is what I need to color correct this. So I just basically use the application on this and just spread it out as much as I can. Okay, next I'm going to grab some loose powder and I'm just going to set that, um, that way it doesn't mix in with the foundation once I start blending. Alright, now that that's set, I'm going to go on to foundation. So I have got the Dream Satin Liquid. I've got two shades here. I have got Golden Beige. I've also got Classic Tan. I'm going to do a little bit of foundation and some cream bronzing. So I basically like to do my foundation like this, very Instagram-y. Um, I also like to use this foundation in the winter, especially just because it's really nice and hydrating. So I'm just going to use that beauty sponge and I'm just going to bounce that all over the skin. Okay, then I'm going to take a little bit of the darker foundation on a concealer brush. I'm just going to place it on the outer parts of my face, just normally where I would bronze. And then I can still see a little bit of that five o'clock shadow peeking through, so I'm just going to add a little bit of that around my mouth area. Not too much, but this is definitely going to help neutralize that a little bit further. And then what I like to do is use a clean side of my sponge to blend first. And as you guys can see, it's definitely giving me a very nice natural bronzy look. Now around here where I have that five o'clock shadow issue still, I'm going to use that side where I had the original foundation on. And I'm just going to bounce it on top and it's just going to blend in with the foundation that's already in the sponge on the skin. All right, now under eye concealer, again, I'm going to use the Age Rewind Concealer. This is such a lovely concealer for the under eye. Again, it's got one of those hydrating formulas and it just fills in the fine lines. And yes, I do have a couple of fine lines underneath the eyes. This is definitely one of those go-to concealers, especially if I'm having a really rough makeup day or like a rough skin day. I know this is not going to settle in my fine lines and my under eyes are always going to look nice and refreshed and very, very bright. Again, I like to blend the edges of the products. That way it's just all very nice and seamless. Now I'm just going to set the under eye again. I'm going to be grabbing the Fit Me powder. Just like to use a brush. I don't actually like using a sponge to set my under eye concealer anymore, just because I feel like it emphasizes lines. And again, areas that I have like creasing issues, I still kind of like do a light bake, but with a brush. And then to set the rest of the face, I'm going to be grabbing this Fit Me powder. And this one is in 310 Sun Beige. I don't know why I'm like posing like I'm on Instagram still. This is going on YouTube. Now we're going to go ahead and do some cheek work. So I have got the Master Contour Cointour. Cointour 20 Medium to Deep. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and grab the contour shade. So I just like to dab my brush like that and then dab the excess on the back of my hand because this stuff is hella pigmented um, and I don't want to look like I've got streaks on my face. Damn, she's quantwood. Can't forget the nose. Going to contour that double chin so you guys can't see I had junk food the other night. Okay, next I'm going to grab that blush. Oh, such a beautiful shade. It's also got a nice iridescence to it too. Again, dab off the excess just in case. And I'm just going to run a little bit of that blush onto my nose as well. All right, now I'm going to pop on some highlighter. I've got the Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter in Molten Rose Gold. So pretty. This is new as well. Don't really want to damage it, but here we go. Ooh, pretty. And I also like to run a little bit of this on the bridge of my nose and just the tip. I feel like that's so pretty. And I think I went overboard. <laughs> okay, let me just dust off that a little bit too much. A bit too metallic. Okay, that works. Okay, that's pretty much the base done. I'm going to go back into the eyes, um, but actually I probably should sort out the brows first. So I have got the Brow Precise in Soft Brown. Now this one's a little bit light for me at the moment, but it's definitely going to work still. 
Right now we're going to move on to the lower lash line and I'm going to cheat a bit. I'm actually going to use an eyeliner just to give it a nice smoky effect and then I'm going to run over it with some eyeshadow. So this one is the Tattoo Liner um, and this one is just a nice brown shade. So I'm just going to run it along the lower lash line. I'm also going to pop it into the waterline. So I'm just going to go back into the palette and I'm going to be grabbing the dark chocolate shade again. And then I'm just going to dab it on, sort of like setting the eyeliner. And then I'm just going to use it to buff it out. Just to give it really a nice smoky look. And then I'm going to go back into the palette and then I'm going to use a small blending brush and I'm just going to grab um, maybe this shade and a little bit of that shade mix them together and then I'm just going to use that to blend the edges out all right I'm just going to pop on some falsies and then we're going to blend them in with some mascara all right so the lashes are now on and I'm just going to use this mascara to blend them in with my natural lashes and also put some drama a little bit more drama on the lower lash line so I have got the colossal big shot volume express mascara Okay, so that is very nice and smoky. Now I have to say, I don't actually wear falsies for my day to day. I tend to wear the falsies for like evening, like when I'm going out to dinner with friends. Um, during the day, I just pile on the mascara and gives me a nice, like very similar look, but I feel like the lashes just brings it to the next level and gives it that extra oomph. Okay, now we're on the home stretch. I'm just going to put on some lipstick, a little bit of setting spray, and we're pretty much done. Now, speaking of lipstick, it's actually National Lipstick Day on the 29th of July, so make sure you guys wear your favourite lipstick just to show support for the holiday. Or, well, for the holiday, the special day. So I've got the Superstay Matte Ink Lipstick. Now, this one is in the shade 70, and this one is in Amazonian. I really like the formula for this particular lipstick just because it's got this nice, um, I don't know, like hydrating formula. It's really weird because it says it's super stay, but it's not dry, which I appreciate because, girl, my lips get very dry during the winter. Okay, now we're just going to put on some setting spray and we're going to pose. Alright guys, so that is the end of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below if you guys haven't already. And also hit the like button and also share this video with your friends and family. So yeah, that's pretty much it from me guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!